Hey there, today we're going to be computing the date of Easter for the year 2001. And I got that year just by asking a student randomly as I came up today what year they were born when they turned their quiz in. That's what they said. So let's get started. The first step is to take this algorithm, which you see here, and we're going to be using this algorithm for the entire process. We'll start with the top and move down. This will be on a handout that I give you later on, or that you already have now, depending on when you're watching this video. We'll start with taking Y, which is the year, and we're going to mod 19. That means divided by 19 and take the remainder. So divide by 19, and that is going to be 105. And again, use your calculators with the fraction mode to help with this and six nineteenths. And what we want there is the six. So A equals six. Now let's go to B. And B is going to be Y divided by 100. So the year 2001 divided by 100 equals. Now we could use this as a decimal or a fraction, but since you see in the next one we need is a fraction anyway, why don't we get it as a a fraction. So it's going to be 200 as a fraction. It's going to be 20, sorry, and 100th. The integer part of that, which is all integer division here, the integer part of that is 20. So that's going to be B. For this one, we do the same thing, but this time 20 to the 100th, we want mod. Mod means remainder. So 1 is C. Then we do the same thing for D and E. Again, B, which we just found was 20. So 20 divided by 4. And since there's since there's no there's no uh, we ends up equaling equaling 5, and there's no remainder. In this case, we're not looking for remainders anyway, it's just the integer, so 5 is what it is. But 20 divided by 4 for this one is 5 again, but notice this time there's no no remainder. So 0 is what we get when we mod. We're looking for this number right here. And it's 5, 0, 4, so it's 5. Next is F. We'll take B. So for this one, it's going to be 20 plus 8. It's B back to here is 20. We notice from right there. So this is 20 plus 8 divided by 25. And this one is going to equal 28 25ths, really, which is, if you put that in the calculator, 28 25ths is 2 and 3 25ths, but all we want is the integer anyway. I'm sorry, 1 and 3, so we just want the 1. So, integer division gives us 1 for that. And then G, a little bit more. Not, notice how we're going to be keep referring back here as we go further down, too. For G... G is going to be B, which is 20, minus F, which we just found, 1, plus 1, divided by 3. And this one, take a, your, you can see 20 minus 1, plus 1. Go ahead and get a total for that. And that's, of course, 20 divided by 3, which ends up equaling 6 and 2 thirds. That equals 6 and 2 thirds, and it's integer division, so we want the 6. Next, we're going to do h. h is going to be kind of a big one, so that's why I have a separate line here for it. 19 times, and go ahead and fill these in as you go. 6 plus b is 20, minus 5 is d, minus 6 is g plus 15, and then we're going to take that and we're going to mod that 30, which means we're going to figure out the remainder is when we divide by 30. So add it all together, and you get 138. Then take 138 divided by 30, and that gives you 4 and 3 fifths. So this is 4 and 3 fifths. This is where you have to pay really close attention because this is kind of a problem now. This is not what we divided by. Notice the mod does not match the 5. So we need to get, to get this to be the correct remainder up here, we need to multiply both these by 6. To get an equivalent fraction of 4 and 18 thirtieths. Now since these two match, I can say that this is H. 
And I'll have you come back for part two shortly. This is kind of getting long, so we'll shoot part two and then put them both on YouTube.